Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And today I want to talk to you about the fear of not being good enough. The reason I wanted to do an episode on this topic is because in all of the years I've been helping people to market their businesses, go out and get new clients, step up and play a bigger and bolder game, one of the things that I see come up time and time again is where people doubt that they're good enough. And today I want to talk to you about this and I want to give you a really different perspective from how you may have thought about this previously. So the first thing I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do is I'm not going to stand here and try to logically convince you that you are good enough. Because if you are carrying around a, you know, a, a sense of not being good enough, it's actually operating at an emotional level. But there is a really powerful opportunity to shift this once and for all. So let's talk about how the idea of not being good enough can show up for a person in their business. It can be that you, you don't put your marketing out there because it's not good enough. You think you need more time to improve and make it better. It can be that you don't set out with your big, bold offerings to attract clients because you're frightened at some level that you're not going to be good enough. It could be that you even end up attracting clients, and I've seen this happen too, and I, actually I've experienced it myself, that you, find, you attract very demanding clients who will almost find whatever you do is not good enough. And so it's a pattern and an idea that we have about ourselves that can just go on and on and on and on and on. So the first thing you need to recognize is that this is a story. It might be a very convincing story, but it's an old story that you've taken on at some point in your life. And ever since then, you've been finding evidence to prove that story true. So it may be that you start to recognize that you, there are subtle things that you do that enable you to play out the not good enough pattern over and over and over and over. So here's what not to do. What you don't want to do is spend time trying to figure this out. So many people who have a story of I'm not good enough want to understand why. Where does this come from? Um, why do I say this? Why do I keep doing this? Why can't I get over this? And you can spend years trying to overcome the fear of not good enough um, by approaching it that way. A method that I found far more powerful and far faster to shift this pattern is to align with the deeper truth about yourself. So let me explain what I mean. You might have heard that quote from Marion Williamson that says, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate or not good enough. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. And one of the things that I've noticed is in the clients that I have who have struggled, and also myself, because this is some, something that I've struggled with, that idea of not being good enough, it's where underneath that there was a more powerful gift that we were scared of or wanting to avoid. So for example, one of the things that I know for sure is the clients that I have that talk about not being good enough, underneath it, they actually have a gift of being more than enough. And these are the clients who make a difference just by their presence. They can alter the shape of the room just by who they're being rather than what we're doing. But if you think about it, you know, as cool as that is to be able to do that, that's also pretty powerful stuff. And as they say, great power comes with great responsibility. And so often, rather than own that magic about ourselves, what it's easier to do is go and make up a story of not being good enough that enables us to carry on hiding, to stay in fear, to not step out fully and owning our gifts and sharing them with the world. So today, my invitation to you is if you can relate to the idea of not being good enough and you've been trying to figure out for years how to get over this, my question for you is what is the deeper truth about yourself that you've been avoiding? What's the power underneath that that you've been afraid of? And I want to challenge you to step up and own and claim that power today. And I want you to talk to me about this. I want to see in the comments below you sharing what it is that you've been avoiding. Because as you shift this, you actually help everybody else to shift this too. In that same Marion Williamson quote, she goes on to say, as we give ourselves permission to shine, as we allow ourselves to shine, we unconsciously give permission to all around us um, to shine also. So you're not just doing this for yourself. The moment that you drop and evolve past the I'm not good enough story, you're actually helping to heal the world. And I think that's worth doing. 
So I hope this episode has helped you. Please write your comments in the boxes below and I look forward to connecting with you on the next episode of Bernadette TV. Bye.